Hi my friends, I want to show you only basic setup of first sky variometer in a new OpenTX, OpenTX version 2.1 and uh, uh, next versions 2.1 and newer. So connecting of uh, physically connecting of uh, variometer on receiver is same like in older versions, nothing new. So connect your variometer on X receiver on smart port connector. Check your polarity. Of course, you can connect variometer not only directly to receiver, but in a chain of sensors with uh, current sensor etc. So uh, connect variometer to your receiver. Now I will connect a power on receiver and now I will show you on the basic setup of a variometer in OpenTX 2.1 version release and later versions. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. I will create a new model for this. And I will set right receiver. So connections is established. Okay. First step which you must make is detection of sensors because without detection of a variometer in Taranis you will not see any values from variometer. <clears throat> you will not see altitude, you will not see vertical speed, nothing. First step, you must detect variometer and only if Taranis know about variometer, Taranis will offer you the uh, variometer values, altitude and vertical speed. So go in last screen and here, discover new sensors. Of course, again, variometer must be on uh, connected to receiver and uh, under power. Yeah. So discover new sensors. Okay. Stop discovery. Here I can see vertical speed and altitude. These two values, two sensors, but actually two value sensor values. First two lines are coming from sensor ID one which is our variometer connected to our receiver. Vertical speed and altitude. What is important is stop discovery after uh, searching of sensors. Next I will try make a, for example on this switch a message about actual altitude. So go on special functions and switch which switch this switch and which function play value play value and which value value alt value from our variometer remember value alt and vertical speed was on telemetry screen so now this value I will Add here altitude. So listen. 0 0.6 meter. I will make a climbing by my mouth. 23.7 meter. 18.4 meter. Yes. Now I won't make uh, then Taranis will tell me if I will be in some altitude. For example, if my glider will be in 300 meters and more, tell me. For this, uh, we will make a new logical switch <coughs> where function function will be, uh, could be A uh, equal X, A, A is exact X, or A is uh, almost exact X, or A is bigger than X. What it means? A is altitude, alt, 
and I will simulate here on desk it on table so I will set altitude for example 15 meters but in real use you will have probably other value so I don't I don't like the, this uh, parameter very much because uh, sensor sends data on the ground on, on uh, the Taranis in some steps and this parameter a equal x means altitude must be exactly 15.0 meters but sensor uh, could send down parameter 14.8 and in next step 15.2 and value 15.0 will not be here never so no voice message uh, for this is better this parameter a is almost exact x but I prefer this a is bigger than x this is 100% uh, option it works on 100%. So I recommend this value. It means if altitude A will be bigger than X, 15 meters, logical switch L1 will be on. And on the next screen, I will copy, uh, I will copy this switch uh, number one, a special function number one only I will change a switch on L1 uh, you will see L1 here only if you create L1 on preview screen if, LU, if L1 switch will not be here you will not see L1 uh, here. Taranis will, will not offer you L1. So, first step, create L1. Second step, add L1 here. Now, I will set some values on a telemetry screen. For example, Altitude uh, Altitude plus it means maximum altitude between two uh, resets of telemetry it means you will uh, go down with your airplane on the ground and you can see on display on your maximum altitude during this flight uh, between two resets of telemetry, I think it's clear. And for for example here, uh, we can add vertical speed, yes, in meters per second. And here I can set vertical speed plus. It is similar like alt plus. It means maximum vertical speed between two resets of telemetry. So, again, logical switch L1 will be on if altitude will be bigger than 15 meters. And if logical switch L1 will be on, Taranis will play, play value altitude. One time, because you can set here for example, each one second, each two second, at the cell. But normal option is one time. So I will show you it. I will reset the telemetry. And now I will simulate a climbing with my mouth. So if altitude, this number, will be bigger than 15 meters, Taranis will tell me uh, actual altitude.
15.6 meter. Yes. Why 16 for example and not 15? Because in the moment when Taranis uh, measure the value of altitude, value is bigger than 15, so for example 16. So here is my current altitude, here is biggest altitude between two resets of, resets of telemetry, here is current vertical speed and here vertical speed plus is maximum vertical speed between two resets of telemetry. Reset you can it with long press of button or menu or um, menu or enter enter on a classic Taranis. And next one I will show you how you can set standard variometer function with awful sound about climbing and descending. So first step you must set source for vario function and we know source will be this sensor from sensor variometer Vertical speed, yes. Vertical speed will be source for our vario function. So vario, vario, where is vario? Here, variometer, source. If your uh, this option will not be changeable immediately, just try it, press it again, and uh, it will be uh, changeable. So here I will set vertical speed. OK. So variometer has a source parameter vertical speed from our telemetry, from our sensors. Again, you must have connected variometer if you want to change these options. And on special functions screen, I will set which switch will be on for vario functions. So for example for me it will be this switch and if this switch will be down so what so vario. Vario. That's all. Again simulate by my mouth I will switch on vario Just try it in real world, simulating by mouth is only for orientation. So I think that's all. Again, you must first step you must make detection or discovering new sensor. After that you must stop discovering, it's important. And only with these values, with this uh, detected values, vertical speed and altitude, only with these two values, you can add these values in the next functions of Taranis. Without detecting of variometer, without these values, you will not see these values anywhere in Taranis. And this same for all sensors in the new OpenTX. Yes, thanks you for watching and have a nice day.